So in this tutorial we are going to use this earthquake catalog from USGS in order to download the earthquake data of any location around the world and make for example a map of earthquakes like this one for example. Welcome to Geocarto, a channel dedicated to GIS, cartography and geoscience. So subscribe if you want to get more tutorials. So go to your local browser and type earthquake catalog. You will get this first result or simply click on the link under the description below. So you will get this search earthquake catalog. From here we will go ahead and enter the input of our earthquakes. So we will start with the magnitude. So you can set the minimum and the maximum. For the minimum I will go ahead and set it to 4. For the date and time let's go ahead and for example only download the earthquake data for the last seven days for the geographic region we'll go ahead and click on custom we will get this map from here we can specify where we want to get our data for this example we will go ahead and look for the data here so i will go ahead and draw a rectangle in this area so you can change your catalog so here we go i will go ahead and use this region so for advanced options you can go ahead and enter for example the coordinate system of your area of interest if you have them here you can specify the depth of your earthquakes the azimuth gap for the event type you can specify either it's an earthquake or non-earthquakes for example ice quakes mine collapse volcanic eruption a lot of options for me i will go ahead and only go with those inputs so i go we'll go ahead and click on search so here we go as you can see we got like not so many earthquakes because we asked only for earthquakes that occurred in the last seven days so we will go ahead and click on modify search in order to get more data so for example let's put the past 30 days and we'll click search so here we go as you can see now we got more data we got more earthquakes because we asked for data of earthquakes that occurred in the last month so now we will go ahead and download those earthquakes if you want to change any search criteria just click on this button and from here click on modify search so for me i'm happy with my results i will go ahead and scroll down here in order to get the download button so i will click on download for the download you can either download it as a, as a csv file kml a bunch of extensions to choose from so for me i will go with the csv file i'll click on it so now our data is getting downloaded so this is the result that we downloaded i'll double click on it to open it and here we go as you can see you got the time latitude longitude the depth the magnitude of your earthquake and other informations i will go ahead now and upload those data into my gis software you can use qgis or acgis for me i will go with the acgis so after opening acgis i will click on add data i will navigate to my work folder i will click on my csv file and i will click on add here i will go ahead and right click on my csv file and i will click on display x and y data for the x field i'll go with the longitude for the y field i will go with the latitude and for the z field this is where i want to put my magnitude for the coordinate system click on edit and go to geographic coordinate systems click on world and we will go ahead and select wgs 1984 click on ok so i will click on n on ok and here we go we got our earthquakes in order to make sure that our earthquakes are in in their correct location we will go ahead and upload a base map so in order to get a base map go to this small button next to add data and then click on add base map and we will go ahead and use this one and then click on add and then just wait for it so as you can see we got our earthquakes geographic position so now we will go ahead and play a little bit with those earthquakes so i will click on this button for example i will right click on them and go to properties i will go to symbology and i will click on quantities and let's for example 
what the magnitude for the classes i will put like three classes from four to six and i will play a little bit with those colors let's get for example this color i will increase the size of this one let's for example this one with this color and finally those which are between five and six in magnitude put them in red so i go click on apply and then okay so here we go as you can see now we classified our earthquakes by magnitude like those in red are the magnitude of four in yellow between so four and five and in red those are earthquakes with magnitude ranging from five to six point nine so i go this is easiest way to get free earthquake data so i hope that you got some value from this tutorial if so please like it and subscribe if you want to get more tutorials